So we're back with one of my favorite type of videos to make, which are my honeymoon phase videos. And all they really are are just my unboxing videos. And we finally have some tech that is highly sought after, might be, might not, but they are the Galaxy Buds Pro. So this does have two way speakers for rich sound, active noise canceling, five to 18 hours of playtime, and an IPX7 rating. And without further ado, it's just so easy to cut with this. And voila. I will say, Samsung, your presentation this year was really, really good. And this new color, this phantom violet, I believe. Amazing. Doesn't smell like anything, though. Before I open it up, let's see what else is in the box. I believe this is probably just a charging cable. Jeez. Wait, what's this little white packet? Oh my god, I'm ripping the paper. It's recyclable though. Ugh. Are you kidding me? All right, so inside here we do have different type of ear tips that you can use, so that's nice. And then we also have our USB-C charging cable. But you guys didn't come here for that. You guys came for the the magic. So this does look like, why did I do that? So this does look like it comes in the same form factor as the Galaxy Buds Live, but unfortunately today, these are the Galaxy Buds Pro. That was a little bit anticlimactic. So we're gonna to allow while using the app. Allow, allow, allow. Do I, did I press it? Oh, dumb. Yeah, 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 pair, pair, pair. Take all my data, it's too late. So setup process as always with Samsung earbuds, super easy and quick. Now, smells like plastic. Smells like a uh, empty milk carton that's been out in the sun for a while. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these in. I think they go in like this. Super comfortable, super comfortable. Uh, there's a software update, so let's go ahead and update. Um, I believe the active noise canceling is already in effect because I can hear myself talking or it just sounds like I have my hands over my ears. Um, so it says it's implementing hearing and You guys don't care about this. So unfortunately, it doesn't smell like anything. There is a... Something beeping? Oh my God, my food. All right, so my amazing creation is done in the oven. This is my very own limited edition chicken pot pie. I haven't seen anything better than this in my life. I mean, if I show this in front of three chefs, I would have gotten first place trophy. This is This is just beautiful. Okay, so Samsung is calling their transparency mode ambient sound, so I think this is transparency mode. Let me do extra high. Okay, wow, that sounds weird. What about low? Low is much better. I think this is what sounds most similar to AirPods Pro. Extra high sounds like you're right next to a speaker and you hear the person's voice. It's almost a little bit too much. High is a little bit better. You're probably standing to like six feet away from the speaker. Medium is actually okay after listening to high and very high, but more than likely, I would probably want to stay on low for ambient sound in terms of how I'm most used to from AirPods Pro. First, let's get some bass going. First song is pretty impressive. The bass is there. It's not as punchy. I guess, I don't know, it's maybe because of the seal. I probably have to switch ear tips, but it's, I accidentally played music, but uh, it's, it's there, the bass is in fact there. So let me try a song that has a little bit more of a vocal focus to it. How much are these? 199? Samsung, I think you might've just won me over. So now I'm gonna test out the voice detect feature and it is actually, okay, yeah, this is solid. This is without a doubt more, not more, that sounds weird much better than the XM4s because I would whisper and the 
headphones would stop the music immediately. That was really annoying. This implementation, they're, they're really close to nailing it. If Apple can do this with AirPods Pro, I don't have it on me, but I'm gonna be using these. Oh my gosh, these are so good. The voice detection alone, that feature might have just sold me for these headphones. Um, and the ambient mode is good. The other thing I've noticed is, um, I really hate touch controls now. As you guys can see, I'm in active noise canceling mode and then it switches over to ambient just like that. And then it takes, I would say probably five seconds for it to go back to whatever mode it was in previously, so. Back to active noise canceling and then back to ambient sound. That feature, Samsung, you are, you're in the driver's seat right now. Now, obviously you can block controls, you can change what the touch and hold buttons do. Um, also, this is just right out the box of how they sound. I don't have any equalizer. If anything, I'd probably do dynamic, but normal honestly sounds pretty good to me. You can have your notifications read out loud to you. Um, seamless earbud connection between multiple devices, which is good. Kind of like um, Apple's handoff feature in a way. You can find your buds, you can reset them, a software update. Um, one thing I have noticed is that, um, I'll have this shown on the screen here, I'm talking throughout this whole time and it switches back to active noise canceling and then back to ambient sound. So it would be really a bit jarring for me to be talking to someone and then while I'm talking, the music just comes back to what the volume was before and then goes back to ambient sound. So, you know, these are, I guess, software focus. So it can eventually be updated and be improved over time. Yeah, these are great. Wireless charging as well, USB-C on the back. It doesn't smell like anything, unfortunately. Like that feature alone, man, the switching back, it's great, but the active noise cancel the ambient mode while I'm talking throughout this whole thing is kind of annoying. So hopefully that can be fixed with the software update. Um, I don't have any as of now. Now the one feature that I would love to try is the um, 360 audio or spatial audio that Samsung has. And unfortunately I don't have an S21 yet because uh, they're not out to the public yet. So I'm still on that pre-order phase, but hopefully when I get them, I can try out the spatial audio because that would be really cool. Um, but yeah, you guys tell me how these look in the ear. Um, Phantom purple. Honestly, I'm a fan of all the colors that they have. Samsung is really good when it comes to their colors. Um, but yeah, these are great. I would 100% put these over the Air, not AirPods. God, you guys probably think I'm an Apple shill. Probably am, honestly. But um, the Galaxy Buds Live, I would definitely put this a class above. Um, let me do a shake test real quick. I don't have my glasses on anymore. Yeah, these aren't coming out. No way. Yeah, no way. I have so much blood rushing to my head right now. One last song. If this has the bass to punch me in the ear, it's a keep. Samsung, you get a pass. You, yeah. Oh, these are nice. I, I haven't tried a lot of earbuds outside of Apple AirPods and Samsung's ecosystem, but I, okay, this is just first impressions, but these might be the best wireless earbuds you can get for a Samsung companion audio experience. Seriously, like these are good and they start at 200. Wow. Samsung, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are, these are, I don't wanna say substantially better than the Galaxy Buds Live, but like I said, these are definitely a class above. Um, everything just sounds much more balanced. The ambient mode sounds better. The noise canceling sounds good as well. Um, I haven't done a microphone test though, so let me quickly call somebody. All right, so I finally have these paired over to the iPhone now. What's up? How do I sound? I'm doing a test for the Galaxy Buds Pro. I sound good? Nice. Yeah, what's been going on? All right, I don't wanna hold you on too long, man. All right, see ya. 
said I sounded good. I mean, $200, I can't get over that price point. I will say these are without a doubt one of the best earbuds Samsung has made that I've tested so far. Wow, for a wireless earbuds, 200 and all the features you're getting, some people might find this annoying, especially if you're coming from the AirPods space, but I really do like how Samsung has their own standalone app that you can use on Android or iPhone. So you're getting pretty much the same experience no matter what you go to. You're not losing out on that many features, probably other than the um, read notifications out loud, but seriously, this is a deal. Um, I would honeymoon phase i can't give a rating or a suggestion but these are these have impressed me without a doubt 100 percent. okay i'm just gonna leave it at that but seriously these are good man these are good like i forgot these were even in my ear they're so lightweight <sighs> the phantom purple <sighs> wow wow i am impressed so Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Like I said before, if you do have the Galaxy Buds Pro, let me know if you have the same experience as me. Like I said, I think these are an amazing type of earbuds, but let's wait until a week for my final review. I appreciate every sub, like, and comment, and as always guys, much love. Oh wait, let me try the reverse wireless charging on here. All right, battery share is on, and just like that. You gotta love Android, guys. You gotta love Android. What is this iPhone doing? Nothing. It looks good, but in terms of functionality, I'm gonna stop right there.